Jordan Love's story to becoming a first-round pick in the NFL draft isn't like most. He was not a five-star recruit. He didn't have multiple FBS Division I offers, and he didn't even start a full season until his senior year of high school. But who even is Jordan Love? If you like this video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I release football related content every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Also, leave a comment letting me know of who you want to see in future videos. Jordan Love was born on November 2nd, 1998 in Bakersfield, California. He was one of four children growing up. Orban Love, Jordan's father, was a police officer in Bakersfield for over 25 years. His mother, Anna, worked for Highway Patrol. Growing up, Jordan had a really close relationship with his father. Jordan told NFL.com that one of his favorite stories about his dad came when he was 10 years old. Jordan wanted pancakes with his father, so Orban took his son to get pancakes. But before they could get the pancakes, they had to stop at the police department. At the time, the police department was doing a challenge where you needed to bench 300 pounds to promote good health. Many of the officers spent time warming up with lighter weight, but Orban did not have that type of time because he needed to get his son some pancakes. Orban Love just walked up to the bench without warning and did multiple reps on the bench. Then he got off the bench, waved goodbye to everybody, and took his son to grab pancakes. Orban was a hands-on father who never missed a game, and when given the opportunity, he was an assistant coach for the teams Jordan played for. When Orban Love was in high school, he played quarterback, but when he got to Bakersfield College, he was relegated to running back. When Jordan entered high school, Orban believed he could be a quarterback. There was one problem. Jordan was 5'6", 130 pounds when he was a freshman. He lacked the ability to throw a football and his skills fit basketball more than football. Yet Orban continued to believe in his son. Orban told everyone at Bakersfield Police Department that Jordan was going to be a talented quarterback one day, and everyone would laugh at him saying, whatever Big O. In the end, Orban was correct, but he did not get to witness his son evolve into a future NFL quarterback. Orban Love never cursed, drank, smoked, used drugs, and never lost his temper according to those who knew him. Orban Love was 51 years old when he committed suicide. In Orban's obituary, the family wrote, Taken suddenly by medical demons. Currently, we live in a scary and lonely time because of COVID-19. In the description of this video, I have put the number to the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline, because you are never alone. A couple of weeks after his father's death, Jordan Love wanted to quit football and just focus on basketball. His mother asked him to just finish out his JV season and they could talk about it after the season was over. Jordan agreed and the conversation never needed to happen. Love would win the starting JV job and was slowly improving his skills as well as building his confidence. Love, now 6'2", won the starting varsity QB role halfway through his junior season. He threw for 1,930 passing yards and 18 touchdowns while completing 102 of his 198 passing attempts. Love also rushed for 384 rushing yards and 5 touchdowns on 86 carries. Love led Liberty High School to the Central Section Division I title game. Love was not getting a lot of Division I attention because they wanted players who were a little more polished. Going into Love's senior year, he had grown to 6'4". During that season, he threw for 2,148 yards and 24 touchdowns, completing 114 of his 224 passes. He also added 806 yards and 8 touchdowns on the ground on 128 carries. Love led Liberty to their first ever Central Section Division I championship and the state semifinals. According to 24-7 Sports, Love was a three-star recruit who was the 70th best pro-style quarterback, 190th best player in California, and 1,645th best player in the nation. He had offers from Eastern Washington, Northern Arizona, Northern Colorado, Sacramento State, and Utah State. Love committed to Utah State on June 15, 2015, and signed on December 16, 2015. Love redshirted his freshman year, but going into his second season, he started 6 of the 12 games he played in. In his first career start against UNLV, he completed 19 of his 27 passes for 316 passing yards and 2 touchdowns, as well as adding 42 yards and a touchdown on 8 carries. As a starter, Love threw for 1,246 yards, 6 touchdowns, and 2 interceptions, while completing 101 of his 173 pass attempts for a 58.3% completion percentage. He also had 144 rushing yards and 2 touchdowns on 39 carries. Love went 3-3 three three as a starter and lost the Arizona Bowl to New Mexico State. Love exploded onto the scene during his redshirt sophomore season. Against Michigan State, he threw for 319 yards and 2 interceptions, completing 65.9% of his passes while also rushing for a touchdown. 
Against Tennessee Tech, he completed 80.8% of his passes while throwing for 236 yards and two touchdowns, as well as a rushing touchdown. Against Air Force, he threw for 356 passing yards and two touchdowns, completing 26 of his 38 passes. Against UNLV and San Jose State, he tied a school record with five touchdowns in a game and had a career-high 448 yards against New Mexico, while also having four passing touchdowns in that game. Love finished with 3,567 passing yards, 32 touchdowns, and 6 interceptions while completing 267 of his 417 passes. Love also rushed for 63 yards and 7 touchdowns on 43 carries. He was voted 2nd team All-Mountain West and led the Mountain West in passer efficiency while finishing 10th nationally. He set 5 single season Utah State records and was a Davey O'Brien Award finalist. Utah State went 11-2 that season and won the New Mexico Bowl. Going into Love's redshirt junior season, the offense had been gutted because of graduation. Utah State returned 46% of their offensive production and had major concerns at both the wide receiver position and offensive line. On top of that, there was a brand new coaching staff. As a result, Jordan Love struggled. In the opening game against Wake Forest, he threw for 416 yards and 3 touchdowns, but also had 3 interceptions while completing 68.8% of his passes. He followed that performance up with 294 yards and a touchdown with a 73.5% completion percentage against Stony Brook. He had a big game against Fresno State with 388 passing yards and two touchdowns completing 30 of his 39 passes. Love averaged 1.5 touchdowns a game while also averaging 1.3 interceptions a game. He led the FBS in interceptions with 17 and only finished as honorable mention for the All Mountain West teams. He completed 293 of his 473 pass attempts with 3,402 passing yards and 20 touchdowns. Love surprised a lot of people when he decided to forego his senior season and enter the 2020 NFL Draft. In his career at Utah State, Jordan Love completed 689 of his 1,125 passes. He had 8,600 passing yards, 60 touchdowns, and 29 interceptions. He also had 403 yards and 9 touchdowns on the ground on 170 carries. He holds three Utah State records, total offensive yards with 9,003, most 300-yard games with 12, and most completions of 80 yards plus with four. He finished second all-time at Utah State in yards, completions, attempts, and touchdowns, and finished third in completion percentage. He went 21-11 and 11 as a starter, which was the second most wins in school history. At the NFL Combine, Jordan Love ran a 4-7-4-40 time, a 7-2-1-3 cone drill, and a 4-5-2 20-yard shuttle. He jumped 35.5 inches in the vertical jump and 118 inches in the broad jump. Coming out of college, NFL analysts believe he compares to a Blake Bortles. Going into the NFL draft, teams need to balance his traits and potentials compared to his lackluster 2019 tape. He has shown flashes of Josh Allen-like arm strength and has a lot of potential to develop. The Green Bay Packers stirred up controversy when they traded up and drafted Love in the first round of the 2020 virtual draft. Now everyone is talking about whether Rodgers is going to be traded or not. Many believe Love needs at least 2-3 to three years to develop and Aaron Rodgers has 4 years left on his contract. As a Packers fan, I don't know how Love will be in a few years, but it will be interesting to see how things change over the next few seasons. If you like this video, check out my other videos in the Who Is series. Thank you so much for watching and remember to embrace the grind.